Hello, people. Yep, I'm back. So far, anyway. Got a couple of things planned. No, there is no makeup on my face. I appear to be having a bit of a flare, so I'm kind of letting it rest in between. Yes, the hair is blonde. The hair is getting longer. We will see where it goes. It's been cold around here, so a little hair on my head was nice. Um... Yes, I have torn down most of the back with my display stuff, but, you know, it needed doing. It was time. It still had all the Christmas stuff up there. I just haven't figured out what else I'm going to put up. Anyway, I thought I'd just let people know that, yes, I'm alive. Ooh. Yes, after two panic panic attacks the other day. I'm doing much better. Um, strange stuff going on, I swear. Just when you think people can't get any dumber, there they go. Right off the deep end. Um, anybody who has a problem with my opinion, you can click. You know where it is. Saw something come up in the emails today. Tarte is already pushing um, stuff for the Lunar New Year, which apparently is the bowl this year. And they've got these, if you don't understand the word chibi, you obviously don't have anime types in your house. But it's a cutesy little, kind of like Hello Kitty kind of stuff. Where they take images of things that very often are kind of scary. I mean, they even have Cthulhu chibis. Okay? This is supposed to be a horror that is, you know, enough to drive you insane just from looking at it that was invented by the twisted mind of Mr. Lovecraft and they've turned it into a chibi. It's a cute little plushie. Well, they've turned the the people at Tarte turned some bulls into cute little chibi images and have slapped them on some brushes. Yeah. That's all they did. They slapped some bowls done up cutesy on some brushes and are now jumping up and down about their new release for the Lunar New Year. And I'm going, really guys, haven't we figured out that that didn't work that well last time? I mean, you slapped a rat on some stuff and called it Lunar New Year and there was nothing new about it except just stuck a rat on it. Do you think we could work a little better with this? Do a little actual work. Now, with some of the things that have been going on, somebody mentioned that the year 2020 was basically going, look what I did. Look what I did over a whole year. And 2021 has come out in the first couple of weeks, looking back over its shoulder, going, hold my beer. So, yeah. Interesting. I want to find whoever came up with the idea of cursing people to live in interesting times, and I want to beat him senseless. Twice. Three or four times, maybe. Just to make sure. That has got to be the most horrendous curse ever placed on anyone. I want to know who I PO'd bad enough that they used it so I can apologize. On top of everything else. It's just... It's weird. My hubby appears to be on a run-up to having some back surgery. 
his low back is just all kinds of messed up. He's got little spurs and stuff from arthritis and all this other stuff. And the painkillers just really don't work on him. It's a genetic anomaly. He doesn't have the receptors for opioids. I don't know where he got it. I don't know which side of the family or which variant. But painkillers don't work on him. So they're looking at doing some surgery to see if they can take the pain out of his back. And I'm like, this is going to be fun. The hospital for the surgery is two bloody hours away through a mountain pass. <laughs> Not fun. I mean, we live in Baker County, Oregon, and the hospital, the nearest large hospital that they work with is in freaking Boise. Boise, Idaho. As in Potato Town. We are just about an hour away from the Idaho border where there is the 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 or Ida which is where they got the name for this, Oregon and Idaho, or Ida Potato Factory just across the Snake River. So, yeah. It's a long drive. I'm going to be revamping some stuff. I'm looking at some new um, packages for the Filmora that I picked up for openers and closers and all manner of other silliness. I've been working on my craft stuff while I've been sitting here been working on my writing while I've been sitting here. As of this week, I'm back in class. We had a long break for the holidays and trying to get my head wrapped around being back in class has not been perfect this week. I go through this every time. It's like they give us that long break for the holidays and my head just gets completely out of the mindset for classes because the rest of the time the classes are back to back to back to back I mean you go from the end of one on a Sunday the next the very next Monday you're in the next class and it's like uh, you give me this much time off my brain turns to mush guys it's like I'm like twitch 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 it's another English class. This is my first 400 level class. Kind of cool, huh? 400. Most of my classes at this point are all in the 400s. Welcome to senior year. Well, you're in a core. My classes I should be eligible to graduate sometime late spring, early summer of 2022. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. There you go. Getting there. Getting there. Yay. Yeah, I don't have the room door closed, so you get to hear all the bits and bobs with my grandkids going up and down the stairs and we have bells on some of the doors because the littlest um, littlest of the grandkids has a bad habit of trying to sneak out so now the doors are locked and chained out of reach for him 
people are, you know, have a lot, we have a lot of stuff set up near the internal and external doors that he could go through that would cause a lot of trouble, so. So, yeah. He's an escape artist, and as the special needs community calls it, an elopement risk. He just freaking gone. Right after we first moved here, he managed to get out of the house without being spotted. He went around the corner to the neighbor's house that's directly kitty corner behind us that, that their fence corners off of our fence and, you know, kind of yak. They were working on getting the house cleaned up for move in. He walks in the back door, introduces himself, and goes and turns on a television. Luckily, the neighbor lady didn't panic, didn't freak out. We'd already, you know, been telling people about, you know, this kid likes to run away. We're very happy he didn't decide to run across the road. So, you know, yeah, the chains went on that day. Got the entry chain things that are way up at the top. It's hard for me to unlock, move the chain off, or put the chain back on to let my dogs out. So we're going, please, please let this give us a reprieve until he gets taller. Anyway. That's what we look like currently. We've had snow off and on here. Christmas morning, there was no snow on the ground. About the time we started to sit down for dinner, the snow was falling. It was gorgeous. It was pretty. Most of the people in the house were thrilled to death with what they got for Christmas. Yay! 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 And... That's really about it. We're all just kind of plugging along. And maintaining distance and wearing our little mascuses and roaming around in the house. Boy, I'm getting tired of being in the house. I'm really not someone who wants to go outside very much because issues. But It does get, having the choice to go out makes a big difference. I don't feel like I have a choice to go out and just walk around the neighborhood. And it's not just the cold, it's all the other stuff. So, I've got a collab coming up with Miss Angie from Forest. That should be coming out on the 16th. Um, most of the rest of my stuff is going to be pretty much my usual kerfuffle. Yes, I know. I never stick to my schedule. I'm sorry. Uh, schedule? Schedule. What's that? I have three grandkids. And a house full of people who have varying degrees of disability. Schedule? What was that? Anyway, if any of you people are interested in things like crochet, I'm going to put a link yonder for this lady who is in Iceland, who does some of the most incredible crochet patterns in mosaic. And you need to go watch her channel. I just discovered her. No, she don't know me from Adam's house yet, but the stuff is gorgeous. Um, 
What else have I been doing? Mostly just kind of attempting to avoid the news a lot. The first blow up day was way too much news. So. Yeah, two panic attacks later. So I haven't been watching much news. I've been watching a lot of just silliness on YouTube. And when I get off of here, I'm going to go play World of Warcraft. Not sponsored. Too bad. Um, and go get back on and get my main character through the startup for the expansion. I know, yes, I know. And you, you all who are gamers are all are sitting there going, you haven't finished that yet? Writer, crafter, granny with special needs grandkids, wife, cook. Give me a break. <laughs> And if you want videos, that's something else that takes me away from my game. So, there you go. It's just Pepsi. Pepsi Vanilla. Not sponsored. That's another thing that just gets on my nerves. The sponsorships and the stuff. And it's really really a good thing that you cannot currently see my working space um i've got crafting materials and craft projects kind of scattered here there and everywhere i mean this is one of the newer projects i'm working on it's going to be a throw. But see, it's one of the mosaic patterns. So you've got this interesting pattern pattern on the front, but you flip it over and it's just stripes. Like that. I got that from the chick I'm going to be linking. I never knew that there was such interesting things. I kept my oh, and you'd think I would have looked before for things to do other than frickin' granny squares. That kind of stuff. Ew. Just do the same old thing all the dang time. Oh, oh flaky. And it, it hurts. This one decides, this time the breakout decided it wants to hurt a lot. <sighs> anyway, that's probably all the news that is. News, anyway. Um, I've got some more freebie books and inexpensive books that I've been reading that I'm going to be like, chewing holes in and a few of them that I've been reading that I'm going oh my god these are so wonderful there's a collaboration excuse me as 90's love child would say burp squad semi warm soda that'll do it every time um Collaboration of writers, two women, and they have basically taken the old, the very old good versus evil and flipped things significantly. The angels are not necessarily the good guys. Um, The spawn of the devil is 
a rather innocent, naive thing. Um, there's a hellhound guarding her who can turn into a human form. And the human form is superiorly vain about his hair. But he's got a wicked sense of humor. I don't know where these authors have been all my life, but oh my, the wicked sense of humor plays through everything. You know where the hellhound got the wicked sense of humor because the writers are incredible. And it, 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 it's a wonderful story. It just, the whole thing, they have flipped everything upside down and sideways. And the characters are adorable. It's, it's fun. Now, a lot of the stuff I have been reading lately is actually young adult stories because it seems like a lot more of the young adult stories are a lot less almost literal to the letter copy paste for certain scenes when you've got a series of let's call them the erotics you know you got the the werewolf shifter or the bear shifter or whatever and it's a, and you get a series from somebody. Now, this is in the cheap books. You get a series from somebody, and you realize because you've got the series, so you can just go beep, 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 beep down through the line. You don't have any break. You realize that in a few cases, they have literally picked up the erotic scene, plugged it into the next book or two down, they kind of like alternate which scene goes where, but they haven't caught all of the places where they need to change the names. So you go from having Foodle Doop and Fiddle Do together to all of a sudden going back to, to Norm and Sally from the first book and then back to Foodle Doop and Foodle Doo. So, I'm going, somebody didn't do their copy pasta right, you know? Anyway, I'm hoping my book doesn't do that. I'm trying really, really hard to be, be individual. Of course, my scenes aren't nearly as graphic as some of the ones that are... Eh, uh, never mind. I don't want to be that graphic. It, it cuts out a chunk of the the possible audience. It's like, yes, they made love. Yes, it was wonderful. Next! <laughs> anyway. Stay safe. We're still playing with COVID. Try and stay out of trouble. Remember to wear your mask. Keep washing those hands. Keep your distance. Don't do anything that's going to cost bail money because I still don't have any. Be good. <laughs>